Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Laura and I host this podcast which I upload on here every week, Suitcase Coder the podcast, just the same as my YouTube name, Suitcase Coder. I like to track my journey from the time I joined a coding bootcamp all the way to becoming a freelance web developer. My ultimate goal in life, which I plan to get into one day, is to travel the world and see as many countries as I possibly can as a remote developer. And until then, I have been sharing my journey and hopefully helping and inspiring other future tech freelancers and digital nomads as I share my journey in hopes that it is helpful if you're just starting off or if you also one day would want a similar journey. So thanks for tuning in to this podcast via YouTube. I'm glad you're here and let's get started on episode 16. So if you've been following along with my podcast from episode one all the way to now, episode 16 for 16 weeks, that's insane, then you might find this episode to be a little bit different than the others and that's totally on purpose and the reason being is I wanted to take a step back and actually kind of give you guys an update on where I'm at now and what life has been since graduating. I will definitely have tons of episodes and YouTube videos about my journey since graduation and what that was like but I wanted to give a quick current update on my situation just because I've gotten a lot of questions about what it was like after graduation, how long it took me to get a job, whether I even have a job, because I'm sharing a lot of my mistakes along the way, but it's kind of pointless to share mistakes and share tips and advice if you don't know where I'm at currently, because maybe I'm sharing all of this advice and you think, okay, well, she's still looking for a job. That is not the case. I've actually been hired twice during a global pandemic, which is insane, and what I wanted to talk about today. So it'll be quick and fun and just, yeah, just so you can get to know me also a little bit better. So to better explain where I'm at currently, I wanted to take a step back and talk about right after graduating Thinkful Coding Bootcamp, which I did about a year and a half ago. Um, I graduated a couple months later than expected, which is fine because I still accomplished everything I had to do and it was a learning curve, but I'm here. I'm a developer. I'm doing it. So I did graduate a little bit later, but from the time of graduation till I got my first job, which I'm still currently working at, I did everything I possibly could to make sure I would get hired. So I, it was as much of a time commitment and energy commitment learning to code is, it's almost twice as much when you're applying to jobs. So I networked like crazy. I joined meetups to continue my learning. I practiced for technical coding problems. I upped my resume, my LinkedIn, my portfolio, all of that stuff I had ready and I was applying to jobs a whole ton. Um, and luckily it worked. And of course I had help from my boot camp, in which they provided a career coach to kind of help me to keep myself accountable through that time. And within I think about two to three weeks after graduation, I got my first freelancing gig, which was to build a website for a family friend. And that really just launched me to start freelancing and being open to accepting freelancing gigs, um, which is something that I thought I would start doing like long run, you know, after experience, but the only way to get experience is to just do it. So when I was offered this, I definitely took it and you know, you learn by doing and you become more experienced by doing. So that was kind of my insight into freelancing. And obviously there was a lot more to learn with that freelancing gig more than just like what I had learned already in coding because in a way you're like running your own business. So you have to make sure how you deal with pricing, how to talk to customers, how to see the end result. All of these things come into play that are more than just writing HTML, CSS, JavaScript, all of that jazz. So that was my first freelancing gig. Very soon thereafter, I happened to come in contact with an old colleague of mine who Without All right, so I'm editing this and I said job, but I definitely I meant that he was looking the right to time. hire somebody. Um, and this person asked me to join their team and I obviously happily accepted. And I've been working with this person ever since and it's taken me a couple months to realize, but I'm doing the thing. Like I have a remote job with a team that's very supportive and I'm learning new things and I'm getting better every day. And yes, there are days where I'm still frustrated that I can't, that I'm not as good as I think I should be. But that being said, I'm happy because I'm learning. I'm and I'm in the perfect environment to be learning and to grow as a developer. And if I look back like to two years ago when I first started off in a coding bootcamp or even before then, all I wanted was to be in a place where I would engage my brain and have some kind of job where I would always continue learning and enjoy and keep my mind busy and engaged and be able to help with processes and help other businesses and clients. And that's exactly what I'm doing. And so it was kind of weird because, you know, I didn't get, I didn't come out of the boot camp and get that eight to five corporate job that people think, you know, you go into your office, you sit down, you have train, all of that, like 
typical corporate job, which essentially I wanted to avoid in the long run. So I didn't have that to like start off my junior developer career, but I got something way better and I'm learning and I'm being engaged every day and my brain is definitely being put to use and I'm being challenged and I love it. And I see a lot of growth within, within this job and I'm, I'm so happy. I'm, it's challenging, but I'm so happy to be um, in the position that I'm at. Alongside that, I'm so happy to say that within just this global pandemic that's going on, I've been hired twice. Yeah, like they're freelancing things and like one's a freelancing thing for a website and the other thing is teaching. But to be hired during a global pandemic when a bunch of companies are laying off feels kind of great. And it feels like I'm in a way might come off as like very show offy, but that's not what the point that I'm trying to make. What I'm trying to say is that being in tech and being in a position after so many years of not being in a position where I see that my skills are needed, even during a time where the world is kind of like at a low, feels pretty darn good. And I feel like that's something that I should be definitely proud of. And if you're joining tech, if you're just starting off, if you're still considering it, and if you're just doubting it and you're not sure, I wanted to share that because I've been in the other position where I have like certain skills, but I was struggling to find jobs. But now with the skills that I do have, I'm I'm getting hired and it's for the skills that I have, even though I'm still a junior developer. And so that feels really good. And I'm, I'm happy to share that because I want to share that. Like if you put the time and effort in, in a boot camp or self learner in university, then you can make that career switch and it's possible. And there's definitely people hiring. I know the first job is very hard to come by. Again, I got pretty lucky on on the job that I currently have, but that's to say like it takes time, but you'll get there. So yeah, that's kind of my quick recap on where I'm at currently. I am happily, very, very happily working with said colleague. And apart from that, I have a couple of freelancing gigs on the side, which I'm really enjoying as well. And it's all just kind of coming together after a long time of doubting whether I should do it or not. And a lot of like frustration during the boot camp and not understanding things. I'm, I'm kind of seeing that other side of the tunnel and I make, I feel like I'm making it. And so it, it feels good. It feels good. And I wanted to share that. And I wanted to kind of give you guys like hope that if, as long as you put in the work and the effort, then there is another side to all of the frustration because believe me, I know the frustration feeling. And all of that being said, I wanted to share kind of my goals, both with this podcast and what I wanted to share with you guys, because, because I kind of dove right into the podcast. And what I'm trying to do is take you guys through the journey chronologically in which I, all the thoughts and frustrations and struggles that I faced throughout the boot camp and learning and, and graduation. So I, I will get to episodes that are way more in depth about graduation and a plan for jobs and networking and all of that fun stuff. And as far as like taking you through my journey of becoming a digital nomad, as you may know, the world is kind of shut down right now. And even so, I knew that this was going to be definitely a long-term goal to travel the world. I obviously uh, spent a little bit of money on the boot camp, and I'm just now starting to kind of gain all of that savings back, which I'm happy to talk about because it's an important part. If this is something that you want to do, you have to kind of be financially aware of what you're getting yourself into and be realistic with the timeline and everything. But my goal, like I say, in every episode is definitely to travel and I'm definitely working towards that. It might be a while before you see me on an island somewhere in the South Pacific, which would be freaking amazing when I get there. But until then, I want you to know that that's definitely still a goal of mine. And I'm telling you more than anything so that I don't chicken out on it. And to say that I plan on sharing the entire journey from boot camp to learning how to freelance, to applying for jobs, to becoming a digital nomad, to learning how to work remotely, to all of that fun stuff. So I wanted to share this quick episode with you guys on where I'm at currently and and tell you that making the switch into tech, if it's something that you like, you have to be able to enjoy it, then you're on the right path. It's just a matter of, like I said, time and effort and energy. If you guys have any questions for me, please feel free to leave some either in the comments below if you're watching on YouTube or reach out to me on any social media platform. You should be able to find me under Suitcase Coder throughout social media. Thanks for listening again to this very quick episode, and I will catch you on next week's episode. Until then, ciao. Oh.